It's a dinosaur birthday party, and it is also budget friendly and low waste. Hi everyone, it's Janet from Go Green Save Green, and I just want to show you some of the fun that I've been having putting together my little son's birthday party. And let me show you a few things. Ah, yes, my excellent cameraman skills. Okay, so first off, we are trying to be low waste and budget friendly. So you'll notice there aren't any paper plates. I, a long time ago, I got these great plastic plates, which are perfect for parties. I don't like to use plastic every day, but I do like to use it for parties. Um, also, just my regular silverware. And we'll wash up afterward, and that might seem like a lot of work, but it's not really that bad. I mean, and a lot of times you'll notice that if you have good friends, they offer to help at the end of the party. <laughs> also, we did these really great little decorations, which are just my son's toys that he already had, which we got secondhand, by the way. Uh, with some cute little paper hats. You'll see more of those in a minute though. Um, we didn't really want to do a ton of party favors, um, so we did instead a lot of fun treats that go along with the theme. We have dinosaur bones, and we have these sugar cookies, T-Rex tracks. These were so easy to make. We just used uh, a little toy dinosaur and stamped the foot washed uh, into the cookie dough and cooked them. And then these are our dino eggs, and these are raptor claws and all this was pretty cheap um, I think that we spent with the ingredients on my son's cake uh, cupcakes which are really actually they're healthy and gluten-free because we have some friends who have gluten intolerances and here they are all together I think we spent around $30 on the whole birthday that's everything that we spent including his big surprise present which he is going to love sorry about my hair by the way it is all wet because I just got out of the shower. I feel so fresh. Um, this <laughs> was fun. Our T-Rex eating the party goodies. Um, that was just a toy my son had and we kind of dolled it up for the occasion. I also made him this really cute little birthday crown for him to wear. This is um, Eco Felt. You can find it at Walmart. It's super, super cheap. It cost about I think 30 cents a sheet and it's actually very eco-friendly because it's made out of recycled plastic and you would never know that it like feels really soft and nice it doesn't feel like plastic at all um, I just sewed that up in my sewing machine and actually I didn't have elastic so I robbed an old piece of clothing <laughs> for this elastic which just goes to show that resourcefulness will take you far my friends all right so his presents um, are really, really simple. Um, these are from his sisters and they had the funnest time wrapping them with bits of wrapping paper they saved for Christmas. And I think that's adorable. But me and Dustin just got him um, really simple little gifts that I know he would love. If you look in here, he's got some plastic dinosaurs. And the great thing about these, which makes them eco-friendly, is that they are thrifted. I don't really like to buy a lot of new plastic toys because I feel like it's just using brand new resources. Same thing in this bag, just some different dinosaurs. And um, it's so much better to use something that is already, um, it's already in existence. So we love to thrift for shopping. And then this is actually a really great little toy. It's a, well it's a big toy. It's a floor puzzle that was given to us several months back. Someone gave us some toys and instead of like showing them to the kids right away, I saved some and um, one of them is this great big T-Rex floor puzzle with like really sturdy, sturdy pieces and um, I think he's going to love it. I cannot wait to show it to him. So we have these little dino decorations. I just kind of put more of his toys dressed up for the party in amongst my house plants. Had a good, good look at this little guy. But they're so cute and it was just so easy and so we had this whole theme going. I had another one over there by the, by, the, by the food. So that's his little party and it's pretty simple. Um, I would love to share the recipe for these cupcakes. They're super simple. They just have bananas. Um, the chocolate ones of course have cocoa powder. Uh, ground up oats and egg and a little coconut oil and a little honey. No sugar except for like I put a little bit of a glaze on the tops of these just for fun. And so they're just like really healthy. They're completely healthy and they're sweet and delicious and uh, really easy to make in just a blender. So I'd love to share the recipe maybe in the comments if anyone is interested. 
so that's his little dino party. You'll notice I tried to keep the colors, um, you know, matching. I used, uh, I always save my wrapping paper, and um, I used colors that went together, kind of did the blue and the orange and the green. I used this, um, we actually got wrapping paper at a second hand store. I know that sounds funny, but it's like a discount grocery. And so they had this wrapping paper that was maybe a little dinged up on the outside, but still perfectly good. So we get wrapping paper that way. And so I used that for the lining of this tray, which is not dinosaur at all. It's actually got like flowers on it. And then I used it for the hats and on the wrapping. And so like all of that is, is uh, reused. The bags are reused. The paper is not new. Uh, the, even the little fluffy stuff inside the tissue paper is not new. So I just feel like that's a great way to keep waste down. But the one last thing, the big surprise I want to show you guys is down here. So we're going to go down the hall. And this is great. This saved us a lot of money. And we found it in Goodwill. Look at this. Okay, it did not look like this when we got it at Goodwill. Look at that. It was very faded. It actually, you can look at the petals here, and you can see that the ends are, are cut off. Well, one of them was broken off. So my husband trimmed them both really nice. So they both look the same. You can't tell that they're broken. He spray painted these handlebars and uh, he just washed it really nicely. The seat still looked pretty good, so we left that how it was. And it is just so cute. Now it's like a really classic little guy's bike. And it looked like trash. Like when we got it, it looked pretty rough. I mean, it wasn't falling apart, but it did not look nice. And we got it for $8. I mean, you would probably spend $50 on a nice new little bike, especially a really classic little bike like this. Um, it just, it was so cool. And we found it just a few days ago, grabbed it, he grabbed a can of spray paint, and he took it apart, cleaned it, spray painted it, and voila. Great little birthday surprise.